Greetings and welcome back to Around the Clock. With December just a few days away, at the time that I'm recording this video, a big end of the year Nintendo livestream showcase has leaked. Now, all of this information comes directly from Samus Hunter, who we all know has been extremely reliable when it comes to leaks and rumors and any news pertaining to Nintendo. Now, we first got wind of this news back in September, and here's what Samus Hunter had to say back then. As you can see here, at that moment in time, Samus Hunter listed all of the upcoming major Nintendo Switch events. All of these events have come to pass so far, except for that one Monster Hunter digital event. That has not occurred so far in November. Now, it is possible that this has been pushed back, but we'll see what happens. And as you can see right below that, they have an Indie World Showcase listed for December, which is a big way to end off the year. Now, fast forward to this past week, and here's an update on what Samus Hunter had to say about these upcoming events. It's highly likely that the various Monster Hunter reveals have been moved to the Game Awards. Splatoon 3 will get some updates later this year. I know there's at least one artwork scheduled to be released by the end of the year. December's Indie World should not be delayed. And here's their final message. The next few weeks is going to be interesting with several Nintendo presentations and trailers of titles expected at the Game Awards. The Fire Emblem Heroes channel next week, new focus on Legends Arceus, the Indie World, etc. It'll be a nice closing month for the year. So, according to Samus Hunter, Nintendo's got some big plans for December. They discussed a lot of trailers and announcements at the Game Awards, including some Monster Hunter reveals, an update for Splatoon 3, Fire Emblem Heroes, and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and finally, a brand new Indie World Showcase for December. So yeah, it looks like Nintendo's got some big plans to end off this year, and it would make sense from a business standpoint so that they could have some momentum going into 2022. Now, it is unclear when all of these announcements and events are going to occur outside of the Game Awards because the Game Awards airs on December 9th. It's possible and it would make sense for all of these other events and announcements to start happening a week after the Game Awards has aired, but again, we do have to wait and see what happens. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. Also, make sure to check out my affiliate links down in the description box below to bestbuy.com. Make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. It's less than a dollar a month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.